164 million, 152 million, 68 million. My name is Zachary Cohn, and I'm here from the internet. And these are how many email addresses and passwords were leaked when LinkedIn, Adobe, and Dropbox were hacked. The sad truth of it is every single person in this room has already been compromised. Don't believe me? Fine. Take out your phones right now. I want everyone in this room to take out your phones right now. And I want you to go to this website, haveibeenpwned.com. <laughs> now, while you do this, this is run by a security researcher who aggregates databases of hacked websites and lets you search uh, the records for your email address. So that's what we're going to do right now. Put in your email address, click on the Pwned button, and let's see what comes up. Maybe it's Tumblr, maybe it's Kickstarter, maybe it's your adult friend finder account. <laughs> but this is what the results are going to look like when they do come up. It's going to be the name of the company, a little bit of information about what happened, and what data was compromised. Now, you can go cry over this stuff later. You can come look back at me now. Uh, th what's important to understand is not what's in your Tumblr account, but where else you used that password. Because you see, the attackers don't really care about you specifically. They go, they find these databases of 10 million email addresses and password combinations, and they try them everywhere they can think of. They're not looking for you, they're looking for an easy target. They're looking for the slowest gazelle. And that's what you don't want to be. <clears throat> so if they manage to even get into your email account, then you're super in trouble. Because think about those friendly little I forgot my password links. It sends an email to you, and you click on the reset my password link. And now, because the attacker has access to your email, they just changed your password on any other account that you have on the internet. Luckily, there's a really easy thing we can do to prevent all this. All you need to do is have a different, unique password for every single account you've ever had on the entire internet. <laughs> now, that sounds pretty hard to remember, so don't. Instead, use a piece of software called a password manager. What these do is you type in a single master password to unlock it, and it saves all of your accounts and all of your passwords for you. Now, when I first heard about these, I was pretty anxious. I was like, well, what if it gets hacked? Well, the truth is, as we already found out, you've already been hacked. So what we've been doing isn't working. And this does work. So this is what we need to switch to. Thank you. So uh, there's a lot of options out there. My favorite is one called 1Password. Now, I don't work for them. I have no financial relationship with them. I'm just a happy customer. And so that's what I'm going to teach you all to use. Uh, so what you're going to do this weekend on Saturday or Sunday is download 1Password, set it up, and it's going to ask you to create a master password. Now, this thing should be long, it should be memorable, and it should be easy to type, because you're going to be typing it a lot. So there's some bad passwords out there, and there's also some ways to make good ones. Good passwords might be an obscure line from a song, or a sentence from a book that you really like, or an indisputable fact. <laughs> the important thing is to make it long, not necessarily complicated and hard to type. Turns out that doesn't actually work. Do not forget this password. You only have one to remember ever for the rest of your life, so don't forget it. Capitalization matters, punctuation matters, don't forget it. So when you're ready to start changing passwords and moving them over to 1Password, this software comes with a password generator that automatically creates random, unique, really hard to type and guess passwords so you can have different passwords for every account. But you've probably got a lot of accounts, so it's really important not to get overwhelmed. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a list of your email accounts, your financial accounts, and your identity accounts, like Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. And this Saturday, you're going to take 90 minutes, download 1Password, set it up, and just work on setting those accounts up. If you finish within the 90 minutes, get up. Go take a walk. Have a gluten-free croissant. If you didn't get all the way through all your accounts on the list, that's OK. Set up 60 minutes next weekend and get to it then. For anything that wasn't on that list, change it when you log in. Over the course of a month or two, you'll find that you've hit pretty much every major account that you have on the internet. So with this advice, you won't be safe on the internet. But at least you will no longer be the slowest and least secure gazelle out there. If you, <laughs> yeah, you do got it. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter. I'm happy to help. 
Otherwise, have a great evening. <laughs>